One of the most annoying and frustrating things that you'll ever ask a drummer to do is play quieter. I mean, after all, these are drums. Drums are going to do what they're going to do, and they're just loud. They're naturally loud. There's really not a ton of stuff that we can do about that. But um, every one of us at some point has been asked to play softer, whether it's at a dinner gig or at a church. It happens in church a lot, as a matter of fact. So, I mean, you have two options as to how you can respond to this request. You can either say, okay, I'll try, or screw you. The thing that a lot of people don't understand is that it's not that easy to control your volume on these things and get them to sound quieter. I mean, some people suggest maybe you switch to brushes, which always sucks. Like, I hate that suggestion because you lose so much, um, so much of the nuances that you can do with sticks, you just don't get with brushes. Um, other option, of course, is switching to rods. It's a little bit closer to sticks, but still, I mean, the one main thing for me, why I hate doing that, is you lose your cross stick altogether. So playing the ballady stuff ends up sounding kind of lame. Unfortunately, when you're asked to do that, as much as you might want to tell them to screw off, at the end of the day, you got to respect the house. So you have to find some kind of way that you can adjust your volume so that it doesn't completely destroy the experience of playing drums for you. So I'm going to give you a little tip, something that I've kind of adjusted to doing. And uh, it works for me, but it's just a little tip that you can do to help you to control your volume on the drums without having to switch to rods or brushes. Now, when we're playing normally, under normal circumstances, we're actually trying to take advantage of the physical properties of the stick. And this is what allows us to get the power and the rebound and all that other cool stuff that you can get a stick to do. When you're trying to control your volume, those things can actually get in the way. So there are two things that you can do that's worked for me quite nicely to help you to control your volume in low volume situations. First thing, and foremost, is choke up on the stick. Move your hand up a few inches from the butt end. I mean, you can hold this thing even as close to the middle as you want, but just choke up on the stick. And this will work whether you're using seven A's or whether you're using two B's, doesn't make any difference. Number two, you're actually gonna grip the stick just a little bit tighter than normal. The reason why you're doing this is that as soon as you tighten your grip up a little bit, you start to engage more of your forearm muscles. And I think the reason why this makes it a lot easier to control your volume is because um, you can control, you have 100% control of your forearm pretty much the entire time. So you can do this, you know, as, as loud or as, as quiet as you want to do. When you have a stick in your hand, it truly does become an extension of your wrist. So controlling your volume all of a sudden becomes really easy. And you don't necessarily have to hold back the same way you would if you were just trying to play quieter while you were playing normal. Now you will still have to use a little bit of restraint when you're doing this. It doesn't mean you can, just because you're doing this, doesn't mean you can swing out and start bashing like crazy. You do have to hold back a little bit, but it's not as much as you would if you were trying to just play quieter while you were playing normally. Because again, you're kind of changing the whole physical you know, situation that's going on here. Because now, you're playing almost 100% from the, from, the, uh, from the elbow, using your forearm. Um, you're definitely still using some wrist, and um, you can still get rolls and all that kind of stuff out. But the thing is, you're able to do everything now, everything that you would normally play, you're able to do now at a much lower volume.
And with a little bit of practice, it won't take much to adjust to this. If you haven't done it before, it's not a big deal. Trust me. I've been doing this for a long time in situations where I've had to play quieter as much as I didn't want to. But now I actually look forward to situations where I have to do that because it really, I mean, the other byproduct of doing this is that it really helps with your touch on the drums. And trust me, man, it's better to get complimented than reprimanded. So if you're able to do this and still pull off everything that you, you want to pull off on the drums, as long as you go into it knowing that you're not going to be able to play the same way, get that out of the way first and just settle in with the fact that you're going to have to adjust to the room, choke up on the sticks, and then just play your drums. So hopefully that helps. Give it a shot.